Brittany just went to the groomers yesterday and I think they gave her razor burn on her belly um, and ever since then she's been really like irritable needs to be held like this because if you touch her belly you see she's not happy and the groomer no didn't know what they did so now I have to try and bring her back but she's like refusing to even go I feel so bad so I need to go and have them check it just so they know what they did and then I'm gonna probably bring her to the vet um, just to make sure that it's nothing bad Literally you guys She's my poor baby PT <laughs> Yeah, I'm just gonna I want to show you guys, but I don't know if she'll let me you guys kind of see it's gotten worse it wasn't that red yesterday when i took her home but i think um because she's been scratching it so much it got way redder so ah <sighs> my poor baby she's not happy at all uh. all right so i'm parked now and i am able to tell you guys about what happened with peachy um so yeah the groomer i took her to the groomers and they took yeah they took full responsibility of the like cuts on her belly they gave me like a korean ointment the ointment that she gave is um prescription only in the u.s but in korea it doesn't require a prescription so she gave me that uh, but just for peace of mind she said that i could take her to the vet and the groomer would fund the cost um which like i have insurance which covers everything so it's kind of like kind of mine but whatever i made an appointment for the vet at 4 30 so we'll see What's going on i mean she i know that it's just like really itchy for her and it's like irritable because it's really red and it's really bothering her so i just want to take her to the vet she's also acting really weird and aggressive which um my dog is like a very sweet dog and she has never been aggressive before and i have like all these marks on my arms she's in pain so like i don't really mind i'm also gonna get her some treats she says i feel bad and she also has like diarrhea right now so i'm gonna go get her chicken so i can make her like boiled chicken and rice um, but first things first, I am at the doctor's office. I need to get some stuff signed uh, for my brothers and I. I've gotta do that first, and then I gotta go, and then I can go get her toys and um, chicken. Always cover your nose. Update, we are at the vet and I'm waiting for them to take her in because I can't walk in with her. I noticed, by the way, this is the cream that they gave me. And it's expired. <laughs> it expired in 2019, so. I don't know if she'll let me show you guys her marks on her belly. I oh, don't know, you can't really see it, but. Yeah, so I'm waiting for the vet, and we'll see what they say. How are you? Yeah, good. It's the vet, so gotta look at Peach's, um... So basically she has looked like a laser burn. He said that it was like just a really bad razor burn, so they're going to give her an antibiotic and a cone, which I wish I didn't throw away her cone, um, because she just kept scratching it and like licking it. So she's gonna have to wear a cone again. He said it's not gonna get infected because they're gonna give the, an antibiotic that'll help with that. And hopefully that's it. The vet did offer to pay. I just called the vet before going to, or sorry, the groomer before going to the vet and the um, groomer said to just send her the bill and she'll cover it. So that's good. <laughs> so they put a cone on her. Uh, I'm gonna go home because my doggy does not want to be in the car. <laughs> this is the situation. They put a donut collar on her so she wouldn't lick. <laughs> so she wouldn't lick her little boo boos down there.
today. Put some deodorant on. Since I always forget to put on deodorant. Peach, you wanna say hi? Come here. I took off her donut because she, her little razor burns are almost healed. So I figured I would take off her donut because she didn't really need it anymore. Um, but today we have to go to the groomers because so when this happened, I actually informed the groomer um, and I was like, yo, this happened, y'all didn't tell me, um, so what can we do to like rectify because she had been going to this groomer for quite some time, like ever since she was like, I want to say like five, six months old, whenever she had all her shots, she could go to the groomers, she was there. This camera's a little high, isn't it? Let me move it down a bit. So she's been going to the groomer ever since she was a baby. And um, this is the first time that something like this has happened. They like always make her look really good after her cuts. So, yeah, I contacted them and they like were super apologetic and they said they would be willing to pay for any bills that. She's. Oh, she's sleeping. They said they would pay for any bills that um, I would have to pay that I would have due to this. So that's why I took her to the vet. I just wanted to make sure that everything was okay because it was really bothering her. Um, so yeah, just gonna go to the groomers, show them the bill and get that moving. We're gonna do that and then I need to go get... <laughs> you wanna be the star of the show? Huh? You wanna be on camera? You like being on camera? Look at that. Who's that? Who's that, Richie? Who's that? I did not realize that the audio was so bad on the other clips. I turned on some like wind noise reduction setting on the camera and I didn't realize that it like, I made the audio so weird. But anyways, I am home now. Here is Peachy. We did have to put the collar back on. She keeps looking in the area and I don't want that. So I put the collar back on. It is healing, but just to be safe. Peachy. I got her this recently, an antler. She really likes it, but I also looked it up and apparently it's not that great for dogs because it's like really hard for them to chew it. So it like wears under th their teeth or something. So that might be the last one that we get for her. Huh? Big yawn. She's a tired doggo. Huh, Peachy? Yeah, you are. That's like the end of the Peachy situation. I I don't think there's any more to update. It's healed pretty well um, over the past couple days, so thank you if you watch this vlog. Make sure your groomer isn't using a dull razor or like a super hot one on your dog and you'll save yourself some trouble. But other than that, thank you for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye!